With seven years old, it's never seen a night like this. The PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania, the epicenter of high school hoops tonight. You're watching the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase presented by the United States Marine Corps. Very anticipated matchup tonight. Top 15 showdown between Sierra Canyon and Camden at the PPL Center. Matt Schick along with National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. Paul, we love seeing at this level best on best. Great players testing their wares against other great players around the country. We're going to see it in Allentown, PA tonight. Yeah, two nationally ranked teams with so many ranked players. Stars in the backcourt as juniors, Bronny James and DJ Wagner. Wagner, the number one point guard in the junior class. Bronny James could be up for the task defensively. Let's take a look at our player spotlight brought to you by Chevrolet. It is DJ Wagner, number one player in the junior class. You see the offers, you see the lineage. His father, Dewan, grandfather, Milt, both McDonald's All-Americans who played at Camden High School, both played in the NBA. DJ could be on his way if he keeps playing like he is now. What do you see, PB? I love the activity defensively. Watch him in the press, in the passing lane. Then he sprints to cover the middle, back into the passing lane. He's working hard, and now the anticipation to get the steal. The hard work pays off. The pick, the push. And he's a terrific layup maker. Shooting range has improved, as well as his consistency. Watch the jab step. Puts a defender on skates. Steer down three, knock down three, and then as a layup maker, DJ Wagner, so good. Takes on the help at the end. Terrific body control to finish. DJ Wagner, not the only player on the floor tonight with an esteemed uh, family lineage uh, to his name. Bronny James, so many expectations placed on him at a young age. How's he doing on the floor, Paul? As a junior, he has blossomed because he plays the game the right way. Watch his high basketball IQ. He sets up his man one direction, reads the cut, goes inside for the fade, knocks down the three. Great shot preparation and shot mechanics. He's becoming, in my mind, a very good defender. How about the charge on the ball? And then Bronny sees the open pocket of space. Watch the balance. The eyes on the rim, the elbow in tight. Terrific follow through. He's becoming an all around complete player. Bronny James, number 43 in the junior class. Top 15 point guard in the class taking the floor tonight for 19 and 2 sierra canyon number 11 in our sports center next rankings camden comes in with a number 12 ranking and a record of 10 and 2. the stars are out tonight in the ppl center in allentown pennsylvania this is the third of three games today a couple of in-state matchups earlier in the day how about a national matchup here? Sierra Canyon making the trip from Chatsworth, California. Camden from New Jersey. A coast-to-coast -coast showdown with some of the best players in high school basketball. Junior, senior, sophomore class even taking center, st center stage. Matt Schick, Paul Biancardi. It's Camden. It's Sierra Canyon. Thanks for being with us. Good Johnny Wright slaps that one back, but it is controlled by Camden. Early shot, that one no good. That was DJ Wagner, offensive rebound here for the Panthers. Well, we've seen Sion Medley, he has had, he had quite a tournament there at the Hoop Hall Classic. Normally makes a shot like that as this one goes out of bounds and will stay. Trailblazers ball. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Kijani Wright headed to USC. See Bronny James. Ramel Lloyd Jr. is a Nebraska signee. And Shy Odom, a Howard commit. Three ball, no good. Starting lineup here for Cannon, DJ Wagner, Desir Haskins, Aaron Bradshaw, number 23 in the junior class, top two center. Sion Medley and Elijah Perkins, who's getting a bunch of Division I interest as well. How about that from the big man, Paul Biancardi, seven foot one, 215 pounds with some range. And that's his game, Aaron Bradshaw. Face it up and knock it down. 
He can take other bigs away from the basket. Kajani Wright has to get out on Aaron Bradshaw. He loves to shoot it. He's got a smooth release. More finesse than physical at this stage. Dylan Otoria got called for the offensive foul, so basket waved off. 3-0 lead here off the three from Bradshaw. E.J. Wagner. Elijah Perkins, that one tipped off of him, and that will belong to Sierra Canyon. What are you noticing here early, Paul, with the pace and the way these teams are, have scouted one another? Well, Sierra Canyon's going to be aggressive all game long. They're going to try to take the ball out of the hands of D.J. Wagner, but even so on the full court situation, they're going to trap and press and try to get Camden to turn it over and then take those turnovers and turn them into points. Ronnie James' shot is no good. Here comes Camden. And for Camden, they need to reset their offense when they get pushed out. They can't take quick bad shots. They'll lead to points. Bradshaw hit that three. Couldn't hit that little bunny, but some good defense there by Sierra Canyon. That one by Ramel Lloyd Jr., the Nebraska signee, goes out of bounds. And now we'll get a chance to see, see JoJo Phillips come in. Amari Bailey also checking in for Sierra Canyon. Number two in the ESPN 100, signed with UCLA. Number 10 in the white for Sierra Canyon. In the half court set, you're going to see Sierra Canyon go through 11 in the white. Kajani Wright. When they play inside out to him, they're at their best in the half court situation. Amari oh, Bailey, that shot rims out. Strong rebound there by Bradshaw. They run that set a lot, Sierra Canyon. A simple screen the screener action. Kajani Wright goes low, Bailey goes high. Out three in the corner is good. The Seer Haskins, the 6'8 forward, good energy guy. Play the point forward. He's off and running. Mari Bailey, his first two shots have gone awry. Another rebound from Bradshaw. Sierra Canyon still looking for their first point. All the way with a foul is Sion Medley. That last three-point shot, Matt, was a simple penetration by Perkins and then a kick to Haskins in the corner, wide open. Here you see Sion Medley. He's got some Siena, St. Peter's, Ryder, St. Francis, Fairfield, Manhattan. Some offers, some interest from Temple. St. Joe's as well picking up, can really handle the basketball. Scored 20 points in the slam dunk to the beach win over Archbishop Wood in December. Really does a good job of controlling the pace. And he's really the X factor for Camden. They know they can get points from Bradshaw and Wagner, but they need Medley to step up as a third scorer. Those of you who watch Texas Southern and Prairie View A&M, we welcome you to the PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania for tonight's top 12 showdown in high school boys basketball between Camden, the Panthers out of New Jersey, and Sierra Canyon, the Trailblazers out of Chatsworth, California. Three minutes and change in, Sierra Canyon still looking for their first points of the day. DJ Wagner looking for his first points as well. That one gets swatted out of bounds, but will stay Camden basketball. DJ Wagner, number one player in the junior class. There you see Amari Bailey, number 10 in white, number two player in the senior class. He's headed to UCLA. And Johnny Wright's headed to USC, playing for Sierra Canyon. A lot of high-profile blue-chip talent on the floor here tonight. 
Kick out three is good. That's Desir Haskins. That's his second made three. And a 10-0 lead for Camden and another turnover. Some miscommunication there with Amari Bailey. The defense for Camden has been sensational. They've been tough on the ball, denying the wings, getting deflections. But offensively, Sierra Kenyon has had a match down to Camden. Camden basically plays four guards with Bradshaw. And they've been the quicker team, the more alert team to start this game. Eliza Phillips couldn't get that. Eliza Perkins couldn't get that one to fall. Here's Nasir Haskins, the kick. Free ball from DJ rims out. Matt Schick, Paul Biancardi, number 12, Camden, with a 10-0 lead over 11th ranked Sierra Canyon. That one goes off of Aaron Bradshaw's hands. Sierra Canyon, four and a half minutes in, still looking for their first points. Camden looking good. They look good behind the three-point line. Mr. Haskins, the lefty, he's got a couple of triples to start this game. Nice. Chloe and Rennie went down the sand dunes. We need a real adventure. Make it real. Compare travel credit cards that help you book adventures beyond your backyard. Compare your way there. Find the smartest financial products for you on NerdWallet. They're out there. Words yet to be written. Stories yet to be told. But here's the thing with ideas. To find them, you have to move. That's why we're building a new generation of electrified vehicles, all designed to inspire something in you. Matt Schick along with Paul being Cardi. DJ Wagner, this is from who, Paul? Boy, he drew a lot of traffic there in Springfield, Paul. Two defenders waiting on him, one chasing him down. And his team wasn't ready for the traps. Then he adjusted on the offensive end. Rick Brunson took him off the ball. Made a nice read on his defender, knocked down the open three. This time, look at the eyes on DJ Wagner. Again, one on the ball, four guys waiting for him. He decides to take the step side. Three point shot, good read off the ball screen by DJ Wagner. Big improvement. Just over the course of a couple of weeks working with Rick Brunson on how to handle double teams, both off the ball and on the ball. Understanding to be a facilitator coming off a ball screen when he gets trapped, to slow down on the offensive end and to trust his teammates. Yeah, Coach Rick Brunson said, you know, he just needs to understand he's a good player, he's gonna get doubled, has to trust his teammates, but still has to be aggressive. Really said he played at one speed against Calvary Christian, a game where he put in 12 points, but really, changed the pace a lot against Milton and, and was able to put up 21 points in that game. And that was all coming after a game against, oh, throwing that one up! And throwing it down for Sierra Canyon. Camden went right to his own out of the timeout. Sierra Canyon read it perfectly and threw it upstairs for the lob. Nope. Yeah, Elohim throwing that one down, PB. Camden just didn't slide in the back, and Elohim upstairs on that one. Nice screen by Odom. He's screening the back man or the middle of the zone to create that lop effect. Isaiah Elohim, number two player in the ESPN 25. That's the sophomore class. Shai Odom couldn't get that one to fall. Camden with this lead, Matt. DJ Wagner has not been involved in the offense. That's a great sign for Camden. Sion Medley. Here's Haskins. Tried the wraparound feed, but that one was picked off. Going all the way, but some steps. 
there for Shai Odom. I know Sierra Canyon loves to push it. They want to go in transition. They want to be aggressive. But you have to know your strengths. And in the open floor, Shai Odom with the basketball is not the best situation unless it's a clear path. When defenders are back, he's got to give it up to a playmaker. Murray Bailey taking his seat. He was injured a few months ago, got back into the lineup in December. DJ Wagner almost lost it, almost pilfered away. There by Ramel Lloyd. Wagner got to find somebody, does with Sion Medley. That one off field. Bradshaw tries to corral it, cannot. And on to Odom. Ramel Lloyd Jr. lost it on the way up. Yeah, it looked like Lloyd was thinking about a Euro step and a pass at the same time and got caught up in the air. Haskins, no good. Offensive rebound. And this is where Camden has to show their poise and their patience to try to run their sets to get a good looking shot. DJ Wagner, there it is, dribbles to the middle of the floor, free, free throw, jumper is good, he's on the board. Rick Brunson has taken DJ Wagner off the ball since the double teams have started to occur and set some wide pin downs to get him open. Medley with a nice give, comes back to Camden for the bucket. Cornelius Robinson with the bucket and some more miscommunication. That one thrown into the second row. Here's our big Monday doubleheader. Two of the top teams in the ACC get it started. Paolo Bancaro, number nine, Duke. After the win over Louisville today, they take on Notre Dame, 7 Eastern. Big 12 battle between number five, Baylor, and West Virginia. Both games right here on ESPN and the app. Baylor got knocked off by Alabama today, so those rankings are certainly subject to change, as are these if a score like this were to hold up. Camden with a 14-2 lead. Less than 50 seconds to go in this first quarter in Allentown, Pennsylvania. You should know that rankings are always subject to change. <laughs> Hanging out with me. Team rankings, player rankings, everything is fluid. Cornelius Robinson, 30 on the quarter clock. Again, operating with no shot clock here in Pennsylvania. DJ. DJ Wagner trying to shake and bake, does, throws it up high off the glass. You can hear the ooing and the eyeing. Everyone knows when DJ Wagner has the basketball, something special could happen. DJ Wagner so quick, so low to the ground and shifty off the bounce. His ability to change spots from A to B to C in a moment's notice, it's hard to stay in front of him. And he gets his body low. He understands the best way to go by somebody Get your shoulders lower than their hips. And once he gets into the paint, does a great job of rising up for the pull-up jump shot or contorting his body for layups. Comes from a great lineage of basketball. His father, Dewan, his grandfather, Milt, both former McDonald's All-Americans. DJ is certainly on a, a similar path. 15 to 2, Camden with the lead as we tick down to the end of the first quarter. Bronny James, number zero in white with the basketball. Bailey, that shot is no good. And Sierra Canyon goes one of 12 from the floor in the first quarter, trailing 15 to 2 to DJ Wagner and the Cat Panther. Second quarter next. The best part about doing things yourself? It's free. Like doing your own taxes with H&R Block Free Online, where more people can file free than with TurboTax. Help is here. They're out there. Words yet to be written, stories yet to be told. But here's the thing with ideas. To find them, you have to move. That's why we're building a new generation of electrified vehicles, all designed to inspire something in you.
Camden with a 15-2 lead on Sierra Canyon as we enter the second quarter of play. DJ Wagner in that first quarter, just one of four from the floor, hit a free throw, just three points. Spread the wealth around where the Panthers. Bradshaw, the seven-footer, hit a three. This year Haskins hit a couple of threes as well, and that's going to be good. That's a good sign, Paul Biancardi, for these Panthers. They're running their offense. They're screening, they're cutting, they're patient. Sierra Canyon not playing their typical aggressive man-to-man -man defense. But Camden showing a lot of patience on the offensive end, getting really good looks. But I've been impressed with the defense of Camden. Welcome in those of you watching on ESPNU. They're in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The PPL Center sellout crowd on hand for this nationally televised and nationally ranked matchup between number 12 Camden and number 11 Sierra Canyon. Camden, number one junior DJ Wagner with a 15 to two lead early, a push here on Isaiah Elohim. And Camden will take it out. You see the numbers. One of 12 shooting was Sierra Canyon. Mari Bailey, the UCLA signee, number two in the ESPN 100. 0 of four shooting in that first quarter. Law of averages says this is going to even out a little bit more than it has here in the first eight minutes, 20 seconds. Bradshaw trap gives it to Robinson with a nice little floater in the lane. Matt, great trap. No rotation from the weak side. They're sleeping on the weak side, Sierra Canyon. They had a great trap. The other two defenders were just watching. You've got to pick up the next guy who's going to cut right in front of the rim. Good job by Camden understanding who was open. And there you see head coach Andre Chevalier. Fifth year at Sierra Canyon. Was at Oaks Christian. Former Cleveland High and Cal State Northridge guard. Got a lot of talent on his roster. Right now just trying to find their footing a little bit early on here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. You see Bronny James, number zero in white, son of LeBron James, number 43 in the ESPN 60. That is the junior class. 0 of 1 from the floor here tonight. Tries to get that steal and it will still be Camden basketball. Sierra Canyon needs some leadership right now on the court. And it's got to come from Amari Bailey, Bronny James, guys that can talk, guys that can work on the defensive end. It's the only way it's going to change. Coaching can only do so much. Leadership has to come on the court. You saw DJ Wagner with his second bucket of the night, just so smooth and quick to the hoop, as is Amari Bailey, hangs in the paint can't get that one the fall here's Robinson they got numbers if they want it nineteen to four lead DJ Wagner number one player in the ESPN 60 going up against Bronny James until the switch and that'll be a foul on Kajani Wright Kajani Wright the USC signee number 38 in the ESPN 100 Number 11 center, the four star. DJ Wagner just came off the ball screen. He recognized the switch. He threw it to his teammate and they threw it right back to him. They call it a boomerang. Watch this. He recognizes the switch, throw it to his teammate. Teammate throws it back. That's the boomerang. Now he attacks the switch. Great offense by Rick Brunson. Medley stepped on the end line. There is Rick Brunson, head coach of this team. His son Jalen having some NBA success. Of course, his son played at Villanova. Rick, a former McDonald's All-American and NBA player as well. Learned under late John Chaney at Temple, where he played his college ball. In the pride of Salem High School in Salem, Massachusetts. See on Medley, nice dish through the lane and getting stuck in the air was Elijah Perkins. Now we're going the other way, Amari Bailey. 
Nice little finger roll, no foul called, and a bucket for the UCLA signee. Nice steal there by Amari. On the way up, and on the way down is Shai Odom. That's the aggressiveness that Sierra Canyon is noted for. Amari Bailey getting his team fired up against Camden. A steal, a bucket. They need some scoring leadership. See Bailey right to the basket. Got stripped. Odom comes in strong right behind to clean it up. The officials talking there. You can see the fire with Amari Bailey. Had something to say to the official. Didn't think it was a tie-up. Didn't think he was stripped cleanly. Thought it was a foul on the way up. A lot of fire and passion in the UCLA signee, number two player in the ESPN 100, Paul. Well, you got ranked players on each team. You got two teams that are ranked, and Bailey has a big scoring reputation. Headed to UCLA to play for Mick Cronin. He's been on and off this season because of an ankle injury, a sprained ankle. Told me today he's 100%, he feels great. The class from Mick Cronin has great balance and talent. Bailey, the shooting guard, Adem Bona, one of the most physically aggressive centers in the class. Dylan Andrews, a really tough, solid driver, defender. Mick Cronin can win a lot of games with that group. Now <laughs> Bailey and Bona, they may not be there very long if they have good seasons. Both of them McDonald's All-Americans, named earlier this week. Haskins, nice little dish there. Oh, and met up top. That was Jeremiah Niarco with the meet me at the rim defense there for Sierra Canyon. Again! Niarco, the 6'8 senior. Coming in from St. John Bosco and comes in and makes his presence known. Camden trying to go rim, getting rejected on multiple possessions by Sierra Canyon. Back to back They need blocks. some momentum changing plays. Those could be it. Jay Wagner trying to work his way to the rim, but it goes off the leg of Cornelius Robinson. And we got a double dribble. Called here on Ramel Lloyd Jr., the Nebraska signee. 19 to 8 lead here for Camden. Sierra Canyon shooting 16% from the floor, 3 of 18, 0 of 7 from three point range. See on Medley. That is one tough shot for the six foot guard. And that was contested. Boy, Bailey, he, he just gets into the lane, creates his space, hits it over traffic. He is such a smooth scoring guard, Amari Bailey. Reminds me in many ways of D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkston. The ability to shoot it from the outside, has the float game once he gets into the paint, a pull-up jump shot, and a very good facilitator. Amari Bailey has passing vision and passing touch. Now right, we got a great Big 12 SEC Super Tuesday doubleheader for you on ESPN and the app. Number five, Kansas squares off against Isaiah Brockington and Iowa State. Seven Eastern, six Central. The number one, Auburn, who's won 16 straight. They host Jaden Shackelford and rival Alabama at Auburn Arena. Should be a great game. Alabama got the win over Baylor today. Let's see if they have a ranking next to their name by the time that game tips off 21 to 10 lead for Camden and Amari Bailey and you had a good conversation with Amari Bailey and, and talking about he likes that phrase and he's put it on social media beauty in simplicity what does he mean by that he said that to me on my podcast keep it simple I'm just as happy making the hockey assist as I am the big play the more you keep the game simple the easier the game comes Amari Bailey one of the best at keeping the game simple. Elijah Perkins, he could be a high flyer. Goes from one end to the other. He did, usually if there's no traffic there or a little less congestion, he will throw that baby down. He did that against Roselle Catholic uh, to christen their new arena there at Camden earlier this season. Great press offense by Camden. They got it to the right spots. They made the quick passes. You want to always beat the press to the middle of the floor, deep opposite. 
And that's how Perkins had a chance for an opportunity for a dunk. Perkins throws it in. Oh, and it's Diarco again. He's got three blocks in the last two minutes. Niako's got a triple in blocks. <laughs> Robinson he's, returning he's the favorite blocks. defensively. <laughs> he's got more blocks than points. <laughs> he got another one. If he didn't touch it, he certainly impacted it. And here's Bailey. Oh, the finger oh, roll man. with the neon shoes. End-to-end -end action. You can't miss him. Look at that shot. That is D.J. Wagner, number one player in the junior class. Don't you love how each team just wants to push the pace? Nobody holding Bailey. back in this game. Niarco going for the rebound, uh, and there will be a foul on Camden. Jeremiah Niarco. All kinds of blocks in this game. He's hosting a block party after the game. And Amari Bailey, smooth finger roll. The best part about doing things yourself? It's free. Like doing your own taxes with H&R Block Free Online, where more people can file free than with TurboTax. Help is here. A new home and new projects go hand in hand. With the Home Depot app, you'll pick it up in no time. You can pick up new skills in our Homeowner 101 workshops. Pick up new power tools with a tap. Pick up the things you need at our convenient lockers. Or even pick them up right from your doorstep. Pick up more of what you need so you can do more of what you love. The Home Depot app. How doers get more done. The Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase presented by the United States Marine Corps is brought to you by Geico. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. The Marines, the battle to belong begins here. And McDonald's. Magic, Paul Biancardi, Allentown, Pennsylvania. PPL Center, the third of three games today in high school boys basketball, Sierra Canyon. Hasn't gone well in the first uh, quarter and a half so far, but man, do they have a lot of talent. You know water's going to find its level eventually in this game. Look at the number of ranked players here, Paul being Cardi, pretty stacked roster. Yeah, when they're all healthy, they're as good as any team in the country, Sierra Canyon. They have one of the best inside big men in Kajani Wright who's going to USC. Romeo Lloyd scores it and defends from the wing possession position. I'm sorry, he's headed to Nebraska. Ronnie James in the backcourt with Mikey Price. It's a well-balanced team, size, athleticism, and great skill. Sierra Canyon coming in with a record of 19 and 2, ranked number 11 in our Sports Center next ranking. Sports Center 25. Camden with a record of 10 and 2, and a number 12 ranking. DJ Wagner, number one player in the Junior class has five points. Bronny James almost got that one to go. Niarco can't find it, but guess who can? Isaiah Elohim, number two player in the ESPN 25. That's the sophomore class. And a whistle. And they ran Bronny James off a flex cut. Wide open for the layup. Nice trap. Doesn't have, doesn't have to be a trap to steal it, just a trap to contain. The Sear can't get that one to fall. Rebound here. This is Amari Bailey, number two player in the ESPN 100. Isaiah Elohim, baseline spin. This is JoJo Phillips to Bronny James. The jumper is pure. His jumper has been wet. All season long. It's been a big improvement from his sophomore year. A good shooter as a freshman and sophomore. Now he's a very good shooter from the outside. Bronny James at one DJ end, DJ Wagner at the other. Both high profile players, great lineage, and both great in the junior class. And Wagner has that natural float game. That ball off of Desir Haskins. 
Not a good effort there by Josiah Jojo Phillips. Well, coming up at the half, we're going to take a look at the new ESPN 100 rankings. Albie and Cardi and his team been busy tabulating the numbers, the updates, the scores. Mari Bailey doesn't have much room to go up. He did go up a couple of spots, did he not, from number four to number two in the ESPN 100? He jumped up two spots. There's only one more spot to go. <laughs> Had a nice look on that baseline out of bounds. They screened for him coming in. Got a good look. DJ Wagner, but might have stepped out of bounds. Camden would have DJ Wagner bring up the ball against pressure in the past or sometimes be the inbounder and get it back. Now Rick Brunson has moved him down the floor to be a finisher or a scorer against the press and have Medley and other players beat the press and then bring it up. It's really good strategy and takes the pressure off of Wagner. Mikey Price, top 10 point guard in that junior class, getting that one to go and a foul. Crashes into the signage there, 27 to 18 the lead here on campus. Mikey Price, an attacking guard. Great size, good athleticism. Loves to beat you off the bounce. And this guy at the foul line loves to beat you above the rim. Isaiah Perkins. I'm sorry, Elijah Perkins. Niarco has, he's got a few blocks. Able to get that rebound <laughs> to his teammates. Here's Bronny James. Niarco sets the screen. Niarco. Ronnie James fakes the pass. Pure with the shot yet again. He's taken four shots. He's hit two of them. He's got four points. Here comes the press again. Gorgeous pass fake by Bronny James to set himself up for an open shot. Haskins. That is his third made three of this first half. Camden with a 10-point lead. Isaiah Loeim, that steps turnover number 11 for Sierra Canyon. Number two player in the ESPN 25. That's the junior class. He moved up a couple of spots from number four to number two in the ESPN 25. High major offers. He just has a great physical presence. He also has the ability to get into the paint, rise up and score over other people, finishes through contact. Once the outside shot continues to develop and evolve, yeah, he'll have a chance for the number one spot. Wagner draws the double, gives it off to Medley. Medley draws some defense as well. He got a foul. And if you can, then you want to close this half with execution and being precise. If you're Sierra Canyon, you want to try to create maybe a turnover in this possession right here, maybe a trap. Good matchup there. Bailey and Wagner. Wagner kicks. Bradshaw throws that one down on the nice give from Robinson. Camden just beat Sierra Canyon off the bounce. This is all dribble penetration. Watch Robinson. Takes on a few defenders, scoops it to the big. Bradshaw just waiting at the basket. Good hands, quick finish. Bradshaw does have a three to his name here tonight. You typically find him around the rim. That was a thunderous dunk. Number 23 in the junior class. Bailey, look at him just muscle his way down the baseline and to the rim. DJ Wagner, here we go. Bailey and 
answers at the other end at the close of the half. You can't keep a good player down for long. And Amari Bailey is in double figures, Paul. The stars have been showing up tonight. Wagner up the pull up down screen. Ronnie James, pass fake. I got you. I see you. There's a deuce by James. Top 12 showdown with a 35 24 lead over Sierra Canyon. As we begin this second half, you're watching the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase presented by the United States Marine Corps. Let's take a look at tonight's player spotlight brought to you by Chevrolet DJ Wagner. You see the ranking number one player in the junior class recently reached the thousand career point plateau at the Hoop Hall Classic that Paul B. and Cardi and I were privileged enough to call. And then, yeah, his father, Dewan, one of the great high school scorers of all time. A good NBA player. Grandfather Milt won a national championship at Louisville, won a high school state championship and an NBA championship as well. They were all McDonald's All-Americans. DJ, Paul Biancardi, perhaps uh, following in their footsteps and off to a good start. I've been really impressed with DJ Wagner, yes, in this first half, but when he had those two bad games, Matt, against Montford and Calvary Christian, they defended him with two players. They put length and size. He really rebounded against Milton, had a game of 21 points. They run that little rescreen action right there for him. He's kept his composure. He's slowed down. He reads the game. And he's made improvement from his bad games to his last two games. And that's a sign of growth. And that's a sign of somebody who's very coachable. And when you're coachable, that's when you get a chance to reach your potential. Sian Medley, nice spin, fade away. That one rims out. Rebound here for Sierra Canyon. Ronnie James, quick to the rack. It's that one to fall in. Ronnie makes you great You see who's reads. on the floor. Brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Johnny Wright headed to USC. Ronnie James, who just hit that bucket. Ramel Lloyd Jr., who is a Nebraska signee. Dylan Matoyer and Shy Odom. Three-star on ESPN.com. Ronnie James says, meet me at the rim. Kick out. Matoyer. Here come the Trailblazers. Ronnie James got the offensive end with the high off the glass lay-in and then a block at the other end. Yep. Ronnie James with some vertical, beautiful block, clean. Starts the fast break. He's got a layup in transition, the block shot, and a nice penetration and kick. A catalyst right now for Sierra Canyon. That was 6-3, rising to block 7-1. Well, 6-3 got up a little bit higher. Just a touch. Yeah, and that's a part of Bronny's game that's starting to change, his athleticism. Watch Bronny off a of two, straight up. His athleticism has changed in his junior season. He's got more pop in his legs. He's quicker, he's faster, but he's always read the game so well, just like on that possession, the penetration, facing the basket, and then the kick. That's about as good a sequence as Elijah Perkins hits it. Good a sequence as you will see from Bronny James. Showcased everything in the arsenal. Got that lay in high off the glass, comes back, gets the block, goes to the other end, and a nice assist for a three for a teammate. Wagner with the swing. Three ball off the heel. Matoyer tried to corral it, could not. Camden has to reset and resettle into their offense. Can't get sloppy, can't get sped up. So that's what Headley happened. took an extra step. Rick Brunson not terribly thrilled with the proceedings. Now I mentioned Bronny James as a catalyst. The block, the assist, had the layup to start it. It, it gives your team energy, it gives your team confidence, and it reflects on the defensive end. 
the other way, trying to corral. That's Ramel Lloyd. And that will be Camden basketball. That is turnover number 12 for Sierra Canyon. Each team's going to push each other. And who's going to push back in this game? That's going to be the big question. Camden pushed the whole first half, and now Sierra Canyon comes out strong in the second half. Off the curl. Boy, that is just so smooth DJ, from DJ. Amari Bailey cannot save it. And that is another turnover for Sierra Canyon. What DJ Wagner can do off the ball, he can. He always could. Yeah. And look at that down screen. They've been running this for the last couple of weeks. Wagner sets up his man like he's going under the basket. Then he comes off the down screen and he makes a tight curl right into the paint. Smart and efficient by Camden. 14 points for the number one player in the junior class. Oh, and I tried to slip that one in there to Bradshaw. Bradshaw, right-handed hook, gets that one to go. The seven-footer showing his wares as well. He bubbled it, but got it oh. back. And that time he got it good. Bradshaw at one end on the offensive side, and then at the defensive end, the seven-footer with the block. Aaron Bradshaw just waiting on it and swatting it away. And he swats it, and then he contains possession. And that's what you want to do as a great shot blocker. Block it, get possession, and go. Rick Brunson saying, I'm, I'm on him every day. Just want him to play at a high level regardless of the opponent. Now, tonight, it's a given. He, he's going to do that. Sometimes when you're playing teams that you have much more talent than, it's hard to sustain that high level. But he can get on the floor, and he can dominate. He draws the foul there. Ooh. Takes a little bit of a spill. I think it was a wake-up call for Bradshaw when they played Montverde. A too big, too physical, a too experienced. Again, just a junior, seven-footer, maybe 200 pounds. And against Calvary Christian, he was okay. And then against Milton, he seemed to get his footing in confidence. And tonight, he is, he is brimming with confidence, Aaron Bradshaw, both offensively and defensively. Ramel Lloyd, the Nebraska signee. What do you think Fred Hoiberg would like to call him up right now? The struggles that they're having? Texan. It's quicker. <laughs> All right, Sierra with a 2-2-1, two, two, just the three-quarter court press. Try to change the rhythm of Camden, because Camden has gotten into their offensive sets. That's why they've been so efficient. Jay Wagner Sierra. gives it to Medley. Yeah, Sierra Canyon trying to take him out of sets. Robinson, that one off the back of the iron. And that will be Sierra Canyon basketball. I like that defensive possession for Sierra Canyon. Trap DJ off the ball a little bit. Not hard trap, but just enough to get the ball out of his hands. They double teamed the ball wherever it went, and they sped up Camden to take a corner jumper. Here's Bronny James going up against DJ Wagner. Number zero against number 21. Damari Bailey. Boy, just reckless to the rim. He, he does not have any regard for his body. He's going to find his way to that area. Ari Bailey, Sierra Canyon, trying to come back. He'll get some free throws coming up. So if my parents serve, you'd be eligible for USAA. Grandparents. As long as your parents joined. What about if I can do this? Ah! USAA, only for the military community. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. But you have a... Mm -mm. Thank you. Evolve your journey in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. Welcome back. Camden with a 41-30 lead over Sierra Canyon, part of our Geico High School basketball showcase. 
Now let's take a look at tonight's McDonald's All-American Spotlight. Who could forget Dewan Wagner? All-American, McDonald's All-American back in 2001. National High School Player of the Year. Look at the career points at Camden. The state record in New Jersey, more than 3,400. Top 10 pick. And how about Jalen Brunson? Son of head coach Rick Brunson, who was a McDonald's All-American. There have just been a handful of father-son McDonald's All-Americans in the history. And there you see him, the pride <laughs> of Salem High. That is Rick Brunson. There, one of the McDonald's All-Americans. Just great to see. And on the left was Chris Weber. Yeah. Co-MVPs. Jalen Brunson, a, a, just a winner. His son, two-time NCAA champion top 20 player in high school and Rick big time winner at Temple undrafted and played in the NBA for a while played for Tom Thibodeau coach for Tom Thibodeau and both of those guys got the most out of their ability Rick Brunson All-American Donald's All-American in 1991 you saw that picture co-MVP with Chris Weber in that game Perkins, nice give. Ten point lead here for Camden. And we'll stay Camden basketball. All the penetration by Camden. When they get close to the paint, notice how they play off of two feet. Rick Brunson has drilled the jump stop with Camden. And when they get inside, they're under control to make a play or to kick it out. <laughs> He's Rick coaching Brunson. right now That's on a great. dead ball. Coach it. Get that pass. That's a, come on, let's go. He was a tough dude as a player. You didn't want to mess with him when he was at Temple. Played for a great high school coach, too, by the name of Jack O'Brien. Ten point lead for the Panthers. Amari Bailey, that shot off of the backboard. Look at Niarco, hustling that one down. Sierra Canyon needs his points. Oh, a little oh. step through, look at the drop pass, yes! <laughs> Isaiah Elohim, Brody James continues to showcase his myriad of skills. Brody does a really solid job of creating for others. Elohim, 6'4", strong and powerful. Bronny thinks the game, one possession ahead. And he reads the floor so well. His ability to get into the paint, see the rim, find the open cutter, or the big waiting for the drop off. And that's been well drilled over the years. That was a heck of a pass for top 50 player in the junior class, Bronny James. Perkins thought he drew some contact. Robinson does and will go to the free throw line. Seven point lead in this top 12 matchup. Ronnie James has been doing it all night long, really showing the repertoire. Camden with a strong attack going to the basket. And that last possession by Bronnie James, he is a dime dropper. He understands when he has two guys on him to find the open man. And sometimes it is the assist, and sometimes it's just ball movement. But Bronny James makes the right play. Bronny James, six points, two assists, a rebound, and a big block. Putting quite the package together. That block was against the seven-footer Aaron Bradshaw earlier and one of the best sequences you will see from Brody James a bucket at one end a block at the other and assist going back the other way now here comes Camden nursing a nine-point lead DJ that one rejected there by Eloy that one is pure the Arco Niarco, Jeremiah Niarco, the senior forward. Got some mid-major offers and 
Oh, foul there. He, he's done well, it on the defensive end. He's got some good footwork. Yeah, recruit him for his shot blocking ability, finish ability near the basket. Yako just catches it. Nice little half pivot. Shows you a short jump shot, but where he impresses me and where college coaches could be very intrigued is his shot blocking timing and ability. More rebounds and blocks than points can help a lot of teams. Coach says he plays above the rim, is a super athlete. He is showcasing that tonight. Bronny J. Oh, that one just rims out. Yarko tries to push that one back. He does to Bronny. He might have stepped. And he did. Sierra Canyon needs some help from their defense. They've got to create turnovers. And they've been pressing mostly all game, but Camden has done a great job in their press offense. They know the trap's coming. They go middle. And that Robinson time Sierra gives gets it a great up. deflection. Yeah. yeah. Bailey dives for it. Medley gets the foul. Ronnie James going to get called for the foul. That's his second. Now, the key for Camden is once you get it to the middle, you've got to go opposite. If you can't get it to the middle, you've got to go sideline. If that's all taken away, then you throw it back to the inbounder. Sierra Canyon did a really good job of anticipating the pass back. Here's Jay the middle. Wagner. Yep, to Haskins. Going the other way, two on one. Robinson flips to Bradshaw, throws that one down. Bronny tried to get him from the backside, couldn't get him that time. As Bradshaw gets the dunk, now Bailey behind the back, he loses that one, Wagner's foul. Once they get it out of the trap, they get it up the sideline. Robinson to Bradshaw. It's been a strong combination tonight. Rick Brunson has his roster in the right positions. Bradshaw is a finisher. A DJ can be in the backcourt or in the frontcourt as a finisher. And Robinson, a good facilitating forward. 11-point lead for Camden. Sion Medley being guarded by Bronny James. Medley, left hand, no good. Brad Shaw, back-to-back dunks for the seven-footer. Nobody picked up Bradshaw. His man went to go make the block. How can you not find the seven-footer? Mikey Price loses that one on the way out, but Bradshaw on the way up. Aaron Bradshaw, great pair of mitts. Throwing it down with some thunder. Ari Bailey, smooth through the paint and to the rim. You got to get him more shots, whether they're tight curls or threes or just some isolations. Amari Bailey can put points on the board. Mikey Price, easy shot off the glass. Bailey corrals. Bailey, yes! Amari Bailey. You know what? Let's get a hashtag on that one. Amari Bailey's been, been working hard here tonight, and he's going to get rewarded at the free throw line and with a hashtag. Amari Bailey, possessed to score points, has a chance for three. Give him a Sports Center top 10 nominee. The perseverance, the touch, and concentration, outstanding. Three point play complete. Eight point margin here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and a great showcase of high school basketball. Final seconds here of this third quarter and a turnover as Medley dribbles it out of bounds. Rick Brunson dribbles it in frustration. And now a chance to claw to within six or even five at the end of the third for Sierra Canyon. Camden came out in this game physically and mentally tough and they've been this way for three quarters, but you sense Sierra Canyon starting to creep their way back into it with their pressure and their aggressiveness. Ronnie James off the front of the iron. Eight-point game going into 
the fourth quarter. Camden, 49 to 41 in Allentown, PA. In the final eight minutes, next. Two out of three. It's one fantastic ride. The turbocharged, tech-inspired new Kia Forte. Oh, you're doing it wrong, man. What's wrong with action figures? Nothing. Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. Whoa, I look good in miniature. Capital One Shopping. What's in your wallet? In high school basketball showcase presented by the. United States Marine Corps is brought to you by GEICO. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. The Marines, the battle to belong begins here. And Chevrolet, find new roads. Little side roads, side streets here in Allentown. Part of the Art Walk here, Allentown Art Museum's collections have Renaissance and modern American works. All being carny, certainly would like to See those, America on Wheels Museum with vintage vehicles as well, which Paul Biancardi drives today. Matt Schick, <laughs> Paul Biancardi, eight point game. Here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, the PPL Center, sellout crowd checking out two of the best basketball teams in the country. When Sierra Canyon does not turn it over, they get pretty good looks. But they've had 15 turnovers in this game for 18 points by Camden. DJ Wagner with the three. That is his second of the night. He's got 17 points. Bailey's quick pass. That's Bronny James. Bronny James with his first made three of the night. He's got nine. Yeah, when his feet are set, he's got a clean look off the catch. Turnover it's off the press. Shooter. Bailey, no. Here's DJ flying in there to try and get that rebound. Oh, no. Nearly a turnover. Haskins has it. And there it is. Rick Brunson's got to be beside himself. He might just wave in the whole bench. He, he has had his team in all the right spots in precedence. And Camden has done a pretty good job. They have double-figure turnovers. But they haven't been turnovers in succession. And they haven't been turnovers that Sierra Canyon has had an opportunity to get runouts. Some of the turnovers, just like that one, a dead ball turnover. So that allows Camden to set their defense. 30 combined turnovers here tonight. Camden with 12 second chance points. That and the points off of turnovers have been the difference in this game. Mikey Price trying to knife his way through to Niarco. Nice little hook. We got a four-point game in PA. Elijah Perkins fouled. Bronny James going to get called for another foul. That's his third. I love the resolve by Sierra Canyon. Pressing all game long, turning up the heat. When they score, just like most teams, when they score, their press is more effective. Time you follow them up in the air. You see Amari Bailey saying, That's okay. It's okay to be aggressive and get a foul. You have to take some chances when you're down. But right now, it's only a two possession game. Camden has led this entire game. This game was 15 to 2 after the first quarter. That's right. One field goal for Sierra Canyon in that first quarter. Now it's a four point game. Mari Bailey, that one rejected by Bradshaw, who is there to meet him in the paint. Sierra Canyon right now, they just look like they're, they're ready for the battle down the stretch. And can Camden hold on? Can they stay mentally tough? Can they stay clean with the ball? Will they still attack? Or will they play on their heels? Camden winners of five straight after losing back-to-back -back games. One to Montford, one to Calvary Christian. DJ hits Brawny on skates and gets that one to go.
The crowd buzzing after that, and then at the other end, it's Isaiah Elohim. DJ Wagner, number one player in the junior class. Putting on some moves. Medley tries to give that one. All right, walk us through it, PB. And the flow in this game has been high, high level. DJ off the dribble handoff, the isolation. Gets into the body of Bronny. And then the pull up to finish it. Bronny levels the drive, loses his balance. DJ takes advantage. You know, and that he gave a little forearm too, right? It, you use that little aggressive, tried to get a little physical there to get Bronny off of him, and and, and that little, worked. Yeah, a little schoolyard bump, Matt. That's all it is. School and Bronny did a bump. really good schoolyard bump. Bronny did a nice job of staying down. Anytime you're moving your feet left to right, you have a chance to to lose your balance, and DJ Wagner can make you look like you're on skates at times. That was quite a play from D.J. Wagner. Now a turnover. Three-point game, five minutes to go. They blitz Bron Bronny James off the ball screen. Each team being really aggressive. Drawing the double and a timeout for Rick Brunson. And Brunson's telling Robinson. To, yeah, Cornelius. Me, Brunson's yeah. telling Robinson, get under the basket because they got the sideline covered, they got the, the kickback pass covered, the middle's covered. If Robinson goes under the basket, he's wide open. Number 23 for Camden. DJ Wagner has had himself quite a night. What's impressed you the most, Paul? His ability to read the game and make the play. He's playing with aggressiveness, he's playing with confidence. He understands when he has to get his and when he has to give it up. And he can play some ISO ball, one-on-one, -on -one schoolyard style. He plays within the flow. He plays within structure. He thrives in the transition game. And I like the way he can slow his mind down in the half-court game. Whether it's a shot maker or a playmaker, DJ Wagner will try to make the right play. 19 points, couple of threes, couple of rebounds, an assist to steal. Number one player in the junior class. Oh, well, just a couple of weeks ago against Montverde, he scored four points. Hard to believe. They zero in on him. He learned from that. And against another high class team in Sierra Canyon, he has risen to the occasion. You know, they had a lot of film sessions, a lot of practice sessions about what do you do when you get trapped? What do you do when somebody bellies you up? and they try to speed you up and become physical. You have to take the retreat dribble, the backup dribble, slow yourself down, read the court. And Wagner has made great progress just in the last two weeks. Brad Shaw gets that one to go. You see how busy January has been for Camden. 13 games they played in comparison. Brooklyn Nets have played 16. It has been quite a month for Camden. They were at the Hoop Hall Classic. Got a win there. Mikey Price can't get that one to fall. And Camden's done a really good job of collecting the defensive shot after the miss. Sion Medley. Ooh, going the other way, and Murray Bailey hits the deck. That ball came down the floor. And Amari Bailey came down on the floor. Number two player in the ESPN 100, the UCLA signee. This entire team is around him. Runs right into the official, backs right up into him. Down the he didn't see line. the official. Yeah, he didn't yep. see the official. He might have twisted the same ankle he's had trouble with. Been dealing with a foot injury, dealt with it before the summer. Re injured a foot a few months ago, came back in December. Look at it again. And Mari Bailey. 
Going to need him in the closing minutes. Good to see him. He popped right back up. Tough young man who wants buckets right now. And Jay Wagner gives it to Bradshaw. They break the press. Going the other way, and that one rejected there by Halloween. Inside! That one is a flush job by Haskins. What a gorgeous pass out of the corner. Trap didn't panic. Played with his head up, his eyes up. Made a gorgeous play. Shira Canyon trailed by as many as 16. Got it to within two possessions. And now, gorgeous give up. Medley to Haskins. I like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with Safe Pilot. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, only for the military community. Two out of three. It's one fantastic ride. The turbocharged, tech-inspired new Kia Forte. Camden with a 60 to 51 lead, less than four minutes to go here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We got something new for high school sports fans this season. Search Sports Center Next on Instagram and YouTube. Follow along for highlights, custom edits, and more. Instagram, they're on Twitter as well. I've, I've seen some of the highlights. Oh, they're great. I've heard, I've heard your voice on some of the replays, Paul. They're online right now. Check them out. Bronny James making some highlights. Amari Bailey as well. DJ Wagner has had himself a night. Free ball. Mikey Price, no rebound. Wagner. Guaranteed to see all the DJ Wagner, Bronny James, Amari Bailey highlights from this game. Aaron Bradshaw, keep going. Haskins. That one's stolen away. Mari Bailey is fouled at midcourt by Sion Medley. See Sion Medley pleading with his team not to turn it over, be strong with the ball. Give me the ball. I'll set up the offense. Good leadership by Medley. Here at the PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Holds more than 8,500. Expected a sellout crowd here tonight. In what they called perhaps the biggest sporting event in the seven and a half year old facility's history. The facility that is the home of the Lehigh Valley Phantoms of the AHL, affiliated of the Philadelphia Flyers. We're 60 miles north of Philly, 90 miles west of New York City in this beautiful arena in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And there's the logo of the Phantoms. Got some games here coming up. Nice little hook shot, maybe hook from Kijani Wright, who is headed to USC. Seven point game, less than three to go. That one goes out of bounds, and it's gonna stay with Camden. All right, now you can't throw the ball in the corner all the time, <laughs> because what happens is the defense uses the baseline and the sideline as extra defenders. You got to get it to the middle on the inbound. Or at least above the foul line. Johnny Wright with the bump on Medley. Johnny Wright's been quiet in this game. He's had to sit out for a good amount of time because the pace was too fast for him. He's best when the game slows down on the offensive end. You can play through him as a low post threat. He can also pass out of the post really well. He demands a double team at the high school level. Not many can stop Kajani Wright. Defensively, he's very good on the glass and bodying up inside. But the pace and the action's been a little fast for him in this one. Johnny Wright, 0 of 2 from the floor, four rebounds. 
USC signee will see much better days and has seen better days. Medley with the free throw. Two and a half minutes to go in Allentown, PA. Nice little pass there from Bronny James inside. Can't finish. And that was shy Odom. Cut. Yeah, a little shuffle cut for Odom. Wagner couldn't finish either. Odom, just a careless turnover, trying to find Isaiah Elohim. Now here's our big Monday doubleheader. Two of the top teams in the ACC get us started. Paolo Bancaro, who is top five in the ESPN 100, class of 2021. And number nine, Duke, take on Notre Dame at 7 Eastern. And then it's a Big 12 battle, number five, Baylor and West Virginia. Both games right here on ESPN and the ESPN app. Baylor has a sensational freshman, Kendall Brown, played at Sunrise Christian. It's been an important piece for Scott Drew this year. Foul on the floor, that's on Mikey Price. Saw that last possession by Odom, Matt. He threw that baseball pass or touchdown pass, whatever you want to call it, deep. Trying to get it all back right away with two and a half to go. You're still in striking distance. You get it to your point guard, you get up the floor, you score. You can use a timeout or you can foul, play the foul game, but you have to score the ball, and you can't take big chances when you're down. On the offensive end, you've got to come up with points. with the free throw back up to a 10-point game need some buckets need a three Mari Bailey no rebound Camden here's DJ Wagner DJ Wagner pushing DJ Wagner jump shot Camden needs to attack they do and a foul the Cornelius attack, Robinson yeah open floor half court set they need to attack Try to get two points with a layup or a paint point and create some contact, get a foul, stop the clock, make the free throw, set up their pressure. It's not a lot of time, but Sierra Canyon has the firepower and the athleticism to make this really interesting down the stretch. And for Camden, you gotta be as tough as you've ever been with the basketball in your hands. Understand that Sierra Canyon's gonna rip it out of your hands. They're gonna come after it. So you're gonna have to pivot with the ball in your hands, maybe throw out quickly, get it to the middle. Less dribbles, more passes. Amari Bailey, 19 points. Tied for the game high with DJ Wagner. Make it 20. Here comes the press. Amari Bailey was cut from his fourth grade basketball team. Says he always remembers it before he goes out for his games. Taught him a lesson in humility and how important the game is to him. Camden breaks that press, sends it back out. A little more than 90 seconds to go. Eight point lead in this top 15 showdown. Might have that That's foul the, there on. The decision by Camden, by the way, at the rim to throw it back out, understanding that the clock is the enemy now. They didn't have a clean look at the basket, so they decided, you know what, let me get it out. Let's move it around, kill some more clock. And now they're at the free throw line. Really good decision making by Camden tonight. Rick Brunson had his team well prepared for the pressure, both in the half court and in the full court. Rick Brunson really talking about how since the Hoop Hall Classic, noticed a different type of attention and focus when it comes to the details of the game. 
So we got our truth. We, we figured out where we were at Hoopal. We lost back-to-back -back games to Montverde before Hoopal. And then to Calvary Christian. Beat Milton. Figured out who they are. Here's Bailey. That one's rejected by Bradshaw. He said I had to get into them a little bit after Montverde and Calvary Christian. And this time Bradshaw gets into Bailey <laughs> with the block. He's had a challenge, his guys, but he says they're so coachable and they love practice. They watch a lot of film. They watch film as a team. And Bradshaw has brought his aggressive game tonight. Bradshaw with 15 points, eight rebounds, four blocks. Number 23 player in the junior class. Number two center in the class. Look at that pass from Wagner to Haskins. They're doing a good job of breaking that press all night long. And a timeout here for Rick Brunson. Well, Rick Brunson wants to explain to his guys right now, look, this is our game. How we close this game is important. It's going to be about valuing the basketball, short passes, moving the basketball quickly, making your free throws. And don't commit foolish fouls on the defensive end to stop the clock. Ten-point lead for Camden in a game that in that first quarter, at the end of the first quarter, Camden led 15-2 to two at the end of one. So Jerry Canyon has outscored them <laughs> in these three quarters since. But you can't win a game in the first quarter, but you certainly can lose it. And that might be the case here for Sierra Canyon. Look at that first quarter, one of 12 from the floor. Yeah, they were excited to come out and play. And I think the Montverde game was a wake-up call, as well as Calvary Christian. Now this team has their confidence back. They're well coached. They're fundamentally sound. Everything's off of two feet in the paint. Defensively, they work together. They've been the aggressor tonight. Shy Odom to Bailey. They're waving off the basket. No continuation. Will be a foul on the floor. Bailey says, count that thing. Count that basket. Give me to the line for one free throw, not two. They'll count that basket in a few years for him <laughs> when he's playing somewhere else. They may not count it this year. They may not count it next year. But in year three, that will be an N1. We haven't seen the best of Amari Bailey this year. Again, ankle sprain early, got hurt in the springtime, his foot. But when he's 100% and he's in a rhythm and a groove, there's not many that can put the ball in the basket and play make as well as he can. A cross in my mind between D'Angelo Russell and Jordan Clarkson. Here comes the press yet again. They've handled it with aplomb tonight. Look at that quick pass from Bailey, excuse me, from Wagner to Robinson, finds the deck and thankfully finds the hands of Elijah Perkins. Yeah, the ball's moving faster than the defense can rotate. See the way Camden just snaps the ball back to the inbounder, to the middle before Sierra Canyon can even react. The key thing about press offense, beside being strong with the ball and playing with your head up, is being in the right spots and knowing where to pass it next. And Camden has had the next pass all night long. Rick Brunson's got to like just the look and feel of his team again. They, that loss to Montverde a couple of weeks ago was their first since 2019. It was a 44-game win streak. They lost that, then they went to Springfield, Massachusetts, lost their first game in the Hoop Hall Classic to Calvary Christian. Now they won five straight, trying to make it six. Off the glass and in, and a timeout. Shy Odom gets that one to go. Well, Camden is playing like their head coach, Rick Brunson. Yeah. They're playing mentally tough, fundamentally sound. They're being the aggressor. And they were well prepared for this game. Sierra Canyon, super talented team. They've had some great wins this season. 
and I like the way they're aggressive defensively, but they didn't come out with the same pop as Camden tonight. Well, speaking of talent, Super Tuesday doubleheader for you. It's going to be great. Number five, Kansas squares off against Isaiah Brockington and Iowa State at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. Then number one, Auburn. It's on Jaden Shackelford and Alabama at Auburn Arena. Should be a great one. 9 Eastern on ESPN. Alabama beat Baylor today. A bunch of SEC Big 12 tussles. Coming up next, we do have BYU and Pacific. Eric that Alabama Auburn game. On the call. Yeah. yeah, Alabama Auburn's going to be a high scoring affair. Jay Wagner has been good with it all night. They get it ahead. 20 seconds to go, six point game and a foul. They foul Cornelius Robinson. Six point game as Robinson heads to the free throw line. Make one of these and you're feeling pretty good. Misses that one. Yeah, Bronny James. Social media, look at this, 6.1 million followers on Instagram. He actually follows 1,000 at last check. And one of those is Paul Biancardi. So he Smart follows. Man, Bronny James. Yeah. He follows 1,000 people. 999 of them are celebrities. The other is Paul <laughs> Biancardi. Off but only glass. one does so the end. rankings, Matt. This is the Bobby and Cardi will do the rankings, yes. Trying to get into your good graces. Four-point game, eight seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. You gotta love the fight by Sierra Canyon. I mean, as you said, it Camden came out strong with the knockout punch in the first quarter of 15-2. Sierra Canyon never got their footing in this game. They've never led. They never had a lot of clean sequences, but they've never given up in this game either. They've just been sloppy with the basketball and second chance opportunities. Too many for Camden in this game. You can't defend second chance opportunities and it's really hard to defend points off of turnovers. There's no scouting report for that. Seven ranked players on this Sierra Canyon team from Chatsworth, California. Amari Bailey tonight, the UCLA signee, number two in the ESPN 100 with 22 points to lead all scores. A turnover, Bronny trying to hold on to it. That one gets in the hands of Camden and that'll do it. Camden gets the win, 66 to 62 in Allentown, PA. A job well done to those at the PPL Center here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Camden makes it six straight wins. BYU and Pacific coming up next. Eric Rothman, Richie Shuler. So long, we had the Stockton.